The state of Florida is fighting back. Officials responding after three travel advisories had been issued for the Sunshine State. The warnings mainly taking aim at Florida Governor Ron DeSantis' policies on immigration and parental rights. This one from the NAACP warning people of color and members of the LGBTQ community that Florida is not friendly to them. Yeah, and it wasn't just then. The League of United Latin American Citizens, the latest group to criticize DeSantis, that group upset over an immigration bill said to be the strongest ever in Florida. Human rights campaign put out their own advisory. So there are multiple advisories, travel advisories, in terms of visiting the state of Florida. We'll bring in Ashley Moody. She's the Attorney General of Florida. AG, thanks so much for coming on. Um, how are you hitting back against these so-called travel advisories by these advocacy groups? And what does that do to the state, to the business owners, to the tourism industry? Well, look, I think that Governor DeSantis has pointed out, and all, most all state leaders in Florida have said, this is part of a political campaign. These advisories has been going on for some time. And either it's purposeful to deceive their interest groups and their members and those that are actually wanting them to do their jobs, or it's shockingly ignorant. You know, Florida leads in protecting our communities and our children. We lead in education. We're number one for black owned businesses. Just last weekend, 23 people were shot in Chicago. I loved your, your last guest that we're talking about paying attention to the reality of what these groups are pushing. I believe that government's policies should first and foremost protect our children, protect our, you know, our kids, let them be kids as long as possible. And we should develop them educationally so that they can go on and be successful and lead happy lives. Sure. And if you look at the policies, there's a glaring difference between those in these other radical-led states and Florida, where we're focused on making things better for these families and citizens. And that's what we'll keep focusing on. It's Florida focus. Yeah. We're not distracted by this. And we let the data do the talking. Well, it, it must not be too bad, because one of the directors, the chairman of the NAACP, uh, appears to show Florida as his home, right? And of course, we've we've done some clarifying on that. They say, oh, it's, it's not really a travel advisory, it's just a warning, an awareness situation here. Because as you point out, AG, there are a lot of businesses that could be impacted by a lack of tourism to the state. Uh, think about the revenue that could be lost. Wanted to point this out by Florida Senator Rick Scott. He issued his own sort of tongue-in-cheek travel advisory here, this time against socialism, though. He said travelers should be aware that attempts to spread socialism in North Florida will fail and be met with laughter and mockery. So talk to me about this, AG. I know, again, it's sort of a, the timing's a bit humorous here, but is, is there some serious behind, uh, a serious warning behind it when you think about uh, potentially people who've come from Cuba and have actually fled uh, countries that have been socialist and communist in nature? Well, pay attention to what folks are, are doing in terms of moving to Florida, traveling to Florida. We lead in net migration. We broke tourism records. Folks want to come here, but what are we doing in the meantime? In order to keep this a safe state for our children, to protect their education, to make sure that we're actually doing what, what is important, implementing policies that will advance all of our citizens and give them all opportunity based on their hard work and merit. That's working. You know, look at what Biden has done. He has broken down our border. We launched a grand jury investigation here in Florida to see what that was actually doing to children with these trans transnational organizations. And what did we discover? Their policies have led to children being shipped all over the nation to people they don't know. They're being sexually abused. Sometimes they're sent to strip club locations. That's what's happening under their policies. What's happening in terms of crime and law and order? You know, it's not just folks moving here from these radical states to raise their families and live in a state that will protect them. It's law enforcement officers. Of those that, that we have recruited and retained in the last year, so many are coming from out of state. They want to work in a state that respects the rule of law, holds up their law enforcement officers, their peace officers. So, you know, we're not... 
we're not going to be distracted by this by this noise. We want to see improvement in the numbers. We want to see improvement in lives. We want to lift up these communities that they are they are warning not to come to Florida. In fact, I think you're doing a, a, a service by having this newscast, by focusing on this. You know, we haven't spoken out in the past when there was these allegations or these travel advisories. You know, Gavin Newsom was just here recently, and don't they have a ban against coming to Florida? Hmm. People are coming here because Florida's focusing on bettering people's lives. Florida's focusing on making sure we're living up to the American dream. Sure. And we're going to stay focused on that policy as long as you have leaders like Governor DeSantis and me in place. We won't be distracted by the, the political nonsense that these folks are spewing out and, and misleading their members. Obviously, uh, visiting Florida for the, the beautiful beaches that you have and uh, the wonderful weather that you have as well. You, you know, you think about uh, the NAACP, it would hurt uh, black businesses as well if you're issuing a travel advisory and really serious about it, which doesn't appear to be. You're not sending out travel advisors to Chicago, which sees crime spikes, L.A., uh, Minneapolis, you name it. Uh, and that's when you can kind of hone in and see where this could essentially be political in terms of travel advisories issued by these advocacy groups. We're going to leave it there. A.G. Ashley Moody from Florida joining us live. A.G., we appreciate that. Always great to see you. Great to be with you.